So big day today for me because I have finally got myself a uh, steering wheel set up uh, as well as pedals and a shifter. I have mapped them out to Booger here. This is what I call my 6x6. It's crazy thunder 6x6, but I painted it green and it's definitely a big Booger and I'm going to take it out. I got to tell you guys, uh, I have practiced for a little bit with this steering wheel already and what a complete difference. I was one of those guys that was on the fence of should I get a steering wheel set up? It seems like a pain in the ass. And plus, you guys may not know this, I actually game laying down on a spare bed in our in our extra room, right? Uh, I prefer to, to lay down because I have a bad back when I set and I game too long. So when I lay down, you know, it helps me out. And I thought, ah, man, I would like to take my gaming level to the next experience but a controller or a keyboard is what I usually used well since I've been able to use the finesse of the gas pedal and the actual force feedback from the the, the Logitech wheel I have I know I didn't go super high-end I stayed around the $500 area simply because um, I didn't want to really spend a whole lot of money unless I knew I was going to like it. And I love it. Because I I did buy it used on Facebook Marketplace. Because um, it was somebody in my area that was selling it. That came with like a stand, a smaller stand, not a huge one. I've seen those like sim driving stands. I I, I just don't have the need for one like i said i like to oh lay down when i'm gaming looks like i'm laying down even when i'm gaming gaming <laughs> beautiful break on there scrape scrape the paint a little bit that's okay but uh now that i've got the finesse of the wheel it's a Totally different driving experience. A little bit more challenging when I'm driving uh, in like Need for Speed because you, you know, like normally when you're just using your finger for the throttle on a trigger or using your keyboard, for example, it's a muscle memory. But thankfully, when you're driving from a real drive like this, it's way more of a muscle memory. I was shocked to know what a difference it was making. Hey, oh, nice. Probably the most boring ride for you guys. But for me, it is thoroughly more realistic. I just got to remember that when I'm facing my truck, the steering wheel uh, does opposite things, right? When you're driving towards yourself. Look at this beautiful thing. Woo! You can see I've got no hubs. Like, I got wheels, but I literally have no axles coming out of the tires. Come on, baby. We got you. So I'm steering with my left hand, and I'm using the mouse to use... Uh, to make the camera turn around to get us the best camera shot possible. Very good. Nice little dusky crawl here. Got some good colors going on. Look at the ray tracing. This is from my NVIDIA RTX uh, 4090, the GeForce 4090 graphics card. Full ray tracing turned on. What a driving experience. Wow. Wow. Like, I only got this wheel maybe two hours ago, three hours ago, but I've only been using it for about an hour now. I wanted to experience it with you guys because you were the ones who told me you got to get a racing wheel or a driving wheel. Now, I did check into lots of different manufacturers. Fanatec, uh, if I remembered that right. Logitech, obviously uh, uh, Thrustmaster. They're huge. I'm in big trouble here, I think. Get out of here. And 
when I thought I could trade somebody for it if I found something on uh, Marketplace, I got quite a few radio control hobby trucks. So look at the ray tracing. Wow. I ended up just doing a trade for a 6x6 that I had. Basically a Traxxas 6x6 for anybody that knows, a Mercedes Barabas, um, for the whole steering wheel setup. Except this was an eight scale traction hobby one that I let go. A very nice unit. I had only used it, you know, a few times at best. And I got a decent steering wheel setup that I'm getting more use out of now than I was with that particular radio control truck. Yeah, baby. I love a good trade where both people are happy and you both are, are benefiting. Look at this beauty. <laughs> All right. So if I go back to base, let's go ahead with that. I wonder if I could have just done that. I bet you I could have done it right on the map, right? Because if I do a map run, for example, I can skip time, go straight to the morning. Oh, let me try that again. Skip time, skip time. There it is. I wonder how many people play SnowRunner and they don't know that because I didn't even know that until today when I'm like, I've got to be able to skip forward in time somehow. Look how sick Booger is. Like, just brilliant. Can I get underneath the truck? Pretty close where you can see the drive shaft. Yeah, it's spinning. And what a boy. There's a house on the other side. Yeehaw! Anyway, thanks for giving me the advice on getting a steering wheel. I'm going to keep on practicing and doing my shit, but until next time, guys, keep on driving. I can't can stop driving. Racing, off-roading, two-wheel, four-wheel, six-wheel, fucking 12-wheel. I love the shifter, in addition to the paddles. Uh oh, that's not good. Behind the rock, we'll get out. You guys were probably worried for a second, right? Old Hughes always got it under control. So Where would you like to go? Anywhere I can take you there. Booger. On WKRT. That's for you, Howard Hesman. <laughs> 